In our final video, we're going to do a few things. We're going to create the footer for our site. We're going to go back and add some graphical elements to the page. And finally, we're going to export our wireframe as an image that can easily be shared with other people. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at our sketch. You'll see that um, at the very bottom we have a footer we need to add. It should have a black background. It needs to have a newsletter sign up box. It should have the Condé Nast logo and a little bit of small print. And then finally we're going to add in some um, social media icons that will allow people to follow Vanity Fair. Let's go back to XD. And we'll go ahead and just create a black block at the bottom of our page. That'll be our footer. And another thing we can do now is we can just go ahead and make this page a lot shorter because we don't need it to be 5,000 pixels in this case. We can just crop up to right there. Okay, so let's work on the newsletter sign up box first. We just need to type in a little bit of text here that says, where did my text go? All right, let's is it here. Okay, <laughs> so let's make that white so we can actually see it. Okay, so we'll say news, our newsletter, sign up, make that a little smaller. Move this up to the top. Actually, I'm going to make it smaller still, maybe 18. And then I'm going to just put a box underneath to represent a place where someone might actually sign up for this newsletter. And we'll give it a white border and no fill. And that's just a nice slick little, little box there. Make sure everything's aligned nicely. Okay, and next we'll... Oops. We'll add a little bit of text to represent the Condé Nast logo. And they're going to want that to be very big. Actually, like 45 pixels, or points rather. And now we'll do just a little bit of small print. We'll borrow some of our Greek text from up here. We'll left align it and then just kind of put this over here to represent the small print that the marketing folks are undoubtedly going to want to put at the bottom of this website. And then finally we just want to give pl people some places to follow us on social media. So we'll put this follow button and we're going to want to come back and put in a few social media icons here in just a moment. We also want to put some social media icons up here um, at the top of our document. In order to add some of those social media icons and some of our other decorative elements here in our design, we're going to rely on a website called Flat Icons. So this is called flaticon.com. And if you sign in or create an account here, you'll be able to um, download and edit your icons a lot more. But basically, I downloaded a number of social media icons and also a magnifying glass icon and an arrow icon. So if we search, for instance, um, Facebook, it'll give us all kinds of Facebook icons. So let's just go ahead and we'll just grab this one. And it'll allow us to download these in a number of in a number of different file formats. We can also edit the icon and change the color. We can use our palette here, or we can use a hexadecimal color. Say we wanted it to be red. And then you could download. And I'd suggest downloading as a PNG, maybe it's 64 or 128 um, pixels, depending on how large you need it. So once you click that, it'll just go ahead and download to your system. For this exercise, I've gone ahead and downloaded all the icons that we need already just to make it a little bit easier um, for you guys to watch the video. 
So I'm going to, first of all, let's just go ahead and finish the footer. I have three white social media icons. I'm going to try to find here. It's Twitter and Instagram. Okay, and I'm going to just drop these on my can. Oops. Okay, let's try that again. I'm just going to drop these on the canvas here. No, that didn't work. try this again let's just do one at a time okay so there is our Twitter logo which we need to get on our black background lovely okay now let's try the Instagram logo okay bring that down and put it next to it and finally we will add our Facebook logo Lot bigger so we need to size that down make it match the rest of them okay and it'd probably be pretty typical to see Facebook first make that a little smaller and then Twitter and then Instagram we'll just move those guys over a little bit great Okay, and now we are pretty much finished with our footer. Now what I'd like to do is go back and add just some um, color and design and a few decorative elements here um, just to really make our design shine a little bit. So one thing I want to do is I want to add some color red around, and we'll just start at the bottom since that's where we are. And I want to make a lot of these category um, text items red. And the color red I'm going to use is just a really basic red. It's just FF0000 is a hexadecimal color. Um, and you can see that just makes that category pop a little bit. I'm also going to go ahead and change this text, the see all text, to be red. And I'll do that for all of them. This is a little tricky to select since it's part of a group. One more. Great. Okay, so let's see. What else do we want to do here? I want to make these lines here red, if I can get them selected. And that would actually be the border color. Great. And I want to try to select these categories. And actually, if you hold down shift, it'll let you select several items at once. And I just want to change those to be um, red as well. Great. You can see that just makes everything pop just a little bit more, right? Okay, now let's go ahead and add our social media items up in our header. And actually, um, for the rest of the exercise, we're just going to focus on finishing up our header. So let's take a look at our sketch real quick. You can see we want to add this little magnifying glass here in our header. We want to add our social media icons. We want to add these little arrows next to our link. And we want to kind of create these decorative elements up there at the top. Okay, so that won't be hard. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop our social media icons in there first. So now we want to use the black versions since we're on a white background, right? We can just kind of start popping them over there. Okay. Finally, our Instagram logo. Great. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can sort of work down there carefully. And actually, while we're in this area, why don't we also go ahead and we'll pop out our arrow, which we're going to need over there. Oops. And we want our magnifying glass as well. Which doesn't look like I grabbed. Here it is. Okay, great. All right. All right, so for this magnifying glass or search icon, really just want to kind of pop that there. It's a little visual cue for people that this is where the search is. And we'll size our social media icons here a little bit better. 
arrange them in a nice order. Great, we should be good to go there. Kind of align this stuff with the search bar. Okay, now we want to take these arrows and each link just gets a tiny little arrow next to it. So we can just create that quickly. Right, and there we are with our arrows. We can play with that, the alignment and the spacing of those to make sure everything looks good. All right, great. Okay, so the final item that we want to deal with here is creating those sort of interesting decorative elements um, at the top. So let's just go ahead and create those. And I think I'll use Georgia for our brackets. Okay, let's just make those really big, right? So what do you say we make it like 72? Let's see what that looks like. Great. I'd argue it needs to be, no. Yeah. About there, okay? And now we can create another one for the other side. We want to sort of match them up here, right? Make sure that they are the same size. Okay, great. Now we can just separate these guys a little bit. And the idea was to put a little bit of type here in the middle. Okay. Just resize all of this, make it look nice. I'm going to borrow a little bit of text from down here. Change the styling a bit. Okay, and I think we can increase the leading, which is the space between lines there on that item. All right, and now we've created these nice little decorative elements that really sort of help spice up our header a little bit. Maybe we grab this whole thing and just make it a little bit bigger. And then we can just copy it and add another one on the other side. Great. All right, and there we have it. We've really created our entire Vanity Fair wireframe, including adding some nice design and decorative elements. We could hand this to a designer who could really improve it, um, and also to a developer who could use this, sort of the blueprint for designing and building out a website. Okay, so let's save our web or our wireframe here. And as a last step, we want to export our document as a, some sort of image file that will allow us to share it with other people. So to do that, we'll go to File, Export, and it, oops, I must have gone to Import here. So we go to File, Export, and we'll say All our Artboards. And we want to export as a PNG file is usually a pretty good idea. So we don't really need to change much here. We can just change our file name. 
and that will save um, our file as a PNG file, which we can open really in any image program or in a browser, and also um, email out to people and share. So that concludes our video tutorial about how to make wireframes using Adobe XD. Thanks so much for watching.